Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do some product testing today. So a product that should be a staple in every woman's vanity is dry shampoo. Have you really not supposed to wash your hair every day? I wash my hair every other day and even because I wash it at night, even the morning after I washed it, I use dry shampoo, gives it a little extra volume. So I have always used Batiste dry shampoo. I'll rotate which scent I use. I love it. It's super affordable. I buy it in like packages of three or six on Amazon because I go through them super fast. I will link them below. This is my favorite, but we're going to compare how my favorite one stands up against some of its competitors. So the first thing I would like to say is, um, so we're going to try three. I did buy travel size of the other ones because I was honestly appalled at how expensive they were. And um, just in case I don't like them, we bought travel size since these are not sponsored at all and I'm paying for these with my own money. So um, first we have the Eva New York. Um, you guys might remember this actually came out of their advent calendar. Um, so I'm not sure how much the individual mini goes for but um we're gonna test it at the front of my hair a couple things to look for with dry shampoo one how well does it absorb oil two is it gonna leave like a white powdery um look after you brush it out and three smell so i'm gonna start with like the front of my hair and just let's see test it in there first okay that's very strong so we just got a little bit in there. You can see it's already like a little more volume than this side, which is flat. And put a little more. So I am impressed up front that it's not leaving white powder on my hair. I will say the smell smells kind of chemically, even though they claim to be more eco-friendly they're all cruelty free but they there's eva hair is supposed to be like more organic natural but it really just smells like hairspray so not thrilled about that however it works really well my hair feels super clean right there and there was no powder left behind so if you're good with a more chemically smelling root that worked pretty well Next, we're going to do the Amakai Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I have not tried, but I did see in the store, they also have something called a dry conditioner, which I think I'll try in another video if their dry shampoo is actually good, because I'm really curious what that's like, and it was like a pair. However, this was $12 for like this little tiny baby. I was kind of appalled by that. So I only got the little one, but I am obsessed with their packaging. So trade-offs, I guess. Um, but we're going to try this one over here. There. You got to break the seal on the sprayer. That's why I spray it that way first. That one in my eyes. Okay. Um, again, smell-wise, pretty chemically smelling. It just, yeah, it, I don't think they added really a scent to it, but also didn't really leave that white mark that you often see from dry shampoo. I, for one, if my hair is really dirty and I just don't have time to wash it, I will spray enough until I get those white marks and I put a little water on my hands and I just kind of pat it out and then it ends up drying pretty nicely. That's just a hack. Okay. Those two, they were pretty good. I will say that Amakai one, my hair actually almost feels like it put some of the oil back after it dried. So it feels softer. I don't know if it looks oily. I don't think so. So we are going to compare it to my favorite, Batiste. Most affordable of the three for sure. Um, this is the Bright and Lively Floral Scent. Um, but you can get, they have a scentless one and then they have a bunch of other scents too. Um, so we're going to spray it. 
So as you can see with this, you're gonna get those white marks and I got those pretty quickly. So that's what I was expecting from the other two because I've honestly always used Batiste. I feel like that was kind of making Batiste look bad right up front because you do see the powder a little bit, but it also absorbed oil way quicker and in less product than the other two. So I'm assuming that powder is what's actually absorbing the oil. So how I usually get rid of that little bit of white marking is you brush out both sides. I have like a damp washcloth. You can either put it on your hands and go like that. You can see it's basically gone on that side or you can actually take the washcloth and just kind of pat it on your scalp really quick. Rub it in like that. Brush. I honestly think this ends up giving your hair more of a natural looking finish than like powdered clean. Overall, I'm going to give the Eva hair a two out of three because I think it worked well. I think there wasn't powder, but I hated the smell. So we're gonna do two out of three for them. The Amika or Amakai or however you pronounce this, um, I'm gonna give them a 50% because I think it was stupidly expensive for being, for not smelling great and doing like an iffy job. So I really, unless you're in it for the packaging, which is really pretty, I would not recommend this one. I honestly, just because of the smell and I think it gave my hair better volume, I would still stick with the Batiste, um, a reminder, this is not sponsored by anybody. So these are totally my own opinions, not influenced by um, any money that I, I'm not getting any money from doing this. So, but I would stick with the Batiste just a on a college student budget. It is way more affordable and I think it still does a very good job. Um, but again, if you're wanting to buy more high end stuff, I would, I would look at, um, I didn't even buy the super expensive ones. Um, hopefully if my YouTube gets monetized, I will be able to buy those more expensive ones to try for you guys. But as of right now, I would stick with my Batiste ones. I will put a link to them in the caption of this video where you can get them on Amazon. Super great. Um, oh, one other thing about them. They actually just came out with colored lines. So because they know they get that white powder, you can buy one for brown hair and one for blonde hair that for the blonde hair, you'll get a light brown powder instead of that white powder and the brown hair, you'll get a darker brown powder. It helps touch up your roots and um, makes it easier to get rid of the color. So I will test those in another video, but um, yes, I would stick with Batiste right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends please and i will see you guys next time